Wednesday afternoon, we've made it this far for the Intercom Investment Conference. A great way to finish today was with the Department of Energy's Stuart Page. He is with the Loan Office, and they have done a lot of work to move uh, our country towards the energy transition and have done so quite successfully, have the resources, and with Curtis the expertise. So thanks for finding time to talk with us today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me here. Yes. I think a lot of people in the audience today were pretty surprised with your level of success rate. So obviously the vetting process, as arduous as it may be, works. Yes. Our, our diligence process is thorough. So for companies that are coming to work with us, they need to expect to put some effort into it. It's not a simple process, but it comes out um, with successful companies, successful projects, and we achieve the goals we're looking for. And typically, our loans get repaid. Typically, they get repaid. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Um, not only do they get re repaid, they come with a, an investment premium. You've had Some of your companies have done quite well. Yes. Um, I mean, when you're helping transition technology companies um, proceed and build projects, they tend to do well overall. So the equity partners that bring the private capital into the projects, um, if you look at the overall track record, if they blindly invested with every project that we worked on, they would have got something like three times the return of the S&P. So it's been a very successful program. Outstanding. Now, I know that R&D from the federal government's uh, standpoint is down, the lowest it's been in 60 years. A program like the Department of Energy's loan program, is that a purposeful backfill or is that just a separate concept you know, idea? Yeah, I think sort of historically, let's look after over the last 20, 30 years in the U.S., we've been very focused on R&D, on new technology, but not on deployment. We tend to invent stuff and then it gets deployed elsewhere, different countries. So the Loan Programs Office is much more about bringing deployment back to the US, bringing manufacturing back, bringing the technology implementation back. And I think that's really one of the things that we've been very successful at stimulating. Some big numbers were bandied about today. You're telling people don't come with, to me with 100 million when doing the work for a billion dollar loan is the same amount of work. Yeah, our overall authority is fairly high, um, 250 to $400 billion of loan authority. Um, we're really looking at commercialization, and when you're dealing with you something that is diminishing or reducing greenhouse gases and implementing of a size that can then be taken up by um, more commercial banks, you're dealing with big numbers anyway. So an infrastructure project of a billion dollars is not necessarily a big infrastructure project. It's huge for a startup technology company, but you've got to at some stage get to that point of commercial implementation. That's where the numbers get big. Do you have any uh, names, company names that might be fairly familiar to people in the country that uh, have your fingerprints on them these days? You know, I'm here in Denver, and so Longpath, um, Boulder-based company that is looking to track emissions, methane emissions from oil fields, it comes to mind very quickly. Yeah. But there are plenty of others, yeah. One last question. If you look at what your work has resulted in the last three years, how would you partition maybe in that pie the types of projects you've been, and of course these are just approximate numbers, but are they 40% wind and solar? 20% geothermal, 10% nuclear, just to give people some sense of what is in that energy transition pipeline that you face every day. Yeah, you know, our, our pipeline is broad. We look at many different technologies. We track something like 17 different sectors of technology, all GHG reducing, all emission reducing or avoiding, um, and all energy related. So I couldn't say there's been a majority in a particular sector. We look at many, many different applications. And we're an eligibility-based program. So we encourage entrepreneurs who are looking to raise capital, regardless of their climate tech technology, to come to us and talk to us to see if we can help. I lied. I had one more for you. Uh, How would find out more information? Yeah, um, you can go to the website, uh, the Department of Energy, the Loan Programs Office. Um, you can call me directly, contact me directly. Um, you know, that's probably the easiest way to find me uh, through email. Um, but there is a portal on the website where you can literally click and get a pre-consultation organized so you can talk to somebody like myself that can steer you through the program. That's an outstanding entry point. Yep. Safe travels. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thanks so much. We Thanks enjoyed it. Very, very informative.